Graves disease is an immune system disorder that causes the thyroid hormones to overproduce. Thank you so much for joining me, doctor. So today we're talking about Graves disease. What is Graves disease? Graves disease is a condition of the thyroid gland whereby your body thinks that your thyroid gland is foreign and it produces autoantibodies to it. And those specific autoantibodies actually turn on the production of thyroid hormone so that you overproduce thyroid hormone and it leads to hyperthyroidism. And your thyroid, what exactly is the thyroid for our audience who may not be familiar with that gland? Yeah, so the thyroid is a gland in your body. It sits um, in your neck right above your collarbones. Um, it's pretty much, it's very small, it's shaped like a butterfly, and it has a lot of different functions that have to do with metabolism. So the metabolism of all the different tissues in your body and all the organs rely on normal thyroid hormone production. And so Graves' disease being something where your thyroid is off, right? How yeah. would some would know that they have this condition? So you may have symptoms or it may be detected on a blood test. If you have symptoms, you could have things like palpitations or tremors, sleeplessness, anxiety, blurry vision, weight loss, um, feeling like jittery all the time. Some of my patients just say, oh, I, I shake my leg a lot. I just, just do that, just constantly on. And then they might also have fatigue as well. So the first thing to do is to confirm the diagnosis. So once you have those high thyroid functions, you want to know, is this really Graves' disease or is it just hyperthyroidism? Sometimes that doesn't really matter because sometimes the treatment's the same. But occasionally you can have one nodule that's causing the hyperthyroidism. That's not Graves' disease. And so sometimes the surgical treatment can be different or um, other treatments can be different. But if you know that it's Graves' disease, they have the autoantibodies, the whole thyroid is inflamed, and it's all producing extra thyroid hormone, then there are a few different treatments that can be done. Um, so as a surgeon, of course, when I'm telling patients about, about different procedures, I try to mention all the options. But usually there's a reason that they've come to a surgeon. So one of the reasons is if the thyroid gland is very enlarged. So if it's really enlarged, they're having compressive symptoms, the best way to treat it is by removing it. If there's a bunch of thyroid nodules, then you want to make sure they're not cancer, and the best way to do that is to just remove it, give the whole thing to a pathologist, so that you can make sure there's no cancer. There's no real other way to do that besides a biopsy, and you can't go biopsying a ton of different spots in the thyroid. By that point, you, you just should take it out. If left untreated, um, Graves' disease can have lasting consequences that cannot be reversed. Get it treated. Yeah. You only have one body and you only have um, have one shot at these things. You know, with Graves' disease, it can be treated, thankfully, and you can stop the pro progression of the things that I just said before it gets to a point where it's irreversible. Once it gets there, you you know, we can still treat it, but, it, but you'll never get those, those things back. Women are much more likely to develop Graves' disease, and it usually develops in people before age 40. Other risk factors include emotional or physical stress, pregnancy or recent childbirth, and smoking.